Umagatiwa, umagatiwa, weka. Tamara na samado, umagatiwa. Welcome to the latest video from Zambezi Mission. In it, we're going to bring the latest news from Malawi and Northern Mozambique. Until recently, the coronavirus situation in Malawi had been very positive. But sadly, this is no longer the case. Shortly after Christmas, there was a sharp increase in prevalence, with record numbers of new infections and deaths seen in January. The virus claimed the lives of two cabinet ministers in one day and has also caused the deaths of some prominent church leaders. The new variant first identified in South Africa seems to be the main factor. The numbers are still low compared to the UK, but nonetheless, we know that Malawi's health services and infrastructure are ill prepared to face the virus. We are therefore continuing to provide PPE for Zambezi Evangelical Church's staff at their five health centres. And because of the increased risk in cities like Blantyre, all our Malawian staff are now working from home. On Monday the 18th of January, to counter the spread of the virus, the President of Malawi, Lazarus Chakwera, announced the temporary closure of all schools and colleges. This has meant that ZEC's orphan daycare centres have also had to close. Boarding schools and residential colleges needed to be assessed by the Ministry of Health to decide whether they could restart classes or send students home. In practice, these assessments have not happened. As a result, colleges like the Evangelical Bible College of Malawi are currently suspended with no clear picture of what will happen next. We have been delighted that the mission has been enabled to support 70 students at EBCOM this term, of whom 23 are new full-time students. So it is disappointing that their first term has got off to such a frustrating start. Your ongoing prayers for EBCOM would be very much appreciated. Last year was a very challenging time for everyone involved in the college. They reopened last October, allowing existing students to complete the semester that was interrupted in March. Since most of the Malawian lecturers took voluntary redundancy last summer, at the end of last year, EBCOM's council were very active in recruiting new leaders. This included a new principal called Gift Mpongolo. Gift is well known to the mission. He used to be ZEC's Fellowship of Youth coordinator. He is a passionate evangelist and we trust that the Lord has chosen the right man. Pastor Moulton Kalima, who was acting as principal, has now been appointed registrar. Please pray for the college's new leaders as they settle in, that they would have real spiritual wisdom as they lead the college in these difficult times. Financially, the college remains in a delicate position, but the good numbers of students enrolled this year should mean that they are able to generate a small financial surplus. In other EBCOM news, we have also helped to finish an income generating project at the college that has been started by another mission. This involved building a semi-detached pair of houses which will be rented out to generate about £3,000 income each year to support EBCOM's running costs. In the UK, we said goodbye to Charlotte Dunning at the end of January. Charlotte had worked for ZM on a part-time basis since 2015, initially as finance officer and later as our office manager. She has taken up a full-time role in the charity division of a local accountancy firm. Charlotte has been an incredible asset to the mission. She is extremely well organised as well as being unfailingly gracious and courteous. We pray that Charlotte knows the Lord's presence, peace and strength as she leaves ZM and goes out into the world as Christ's ambassador. 
We are very thankful that we've been able to appoint a new office manager, Claire O'Connell, who started in January. Our mission director will introduce Claire to us. So Claire, please tell us a little bit about your background, your experience and your Christian faith. I grew up in York where I became Christian, but then I moved away and I spent most of my working life in the south of England, where I most recently worked as deputy company secretary for an international company which worked with oil and gas drilling companies. I moved back to York in 2019 and I joined York Baptist Church, which is where I heard about ZM. And why did you want to join ZM? I wanted to use my working time for an organisation which benefited other people. And by helping people know, follow and trust Jesus, ZM is providing the greatest benefit there is. And what are you most hoping to achieve with ZM? I'm hoping to provide a smooth and efficient finance and admin service so that other people can use their gifts to make Jesus known. As you can see, we have much to be thankful for. Thank you for your prayers, gifts and messages of encouragement, which means so much to us and to our partners in Malawi and Mozambique in these very challenging days. I will close with some words from Psalm 31. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Amen. Amen.